This was a big week for Aftershock Comics. Uh, they released World of Animosity number one, BEK number 14, Unholy Grail number three, and specifically, I wanted to talk about Dark Arc number one, a new series by Colin Bunn that had me the most excited. Hello comic book junkies, it's the Frog Queen here, and today I'm talking specifically about Colin Bunn's latest trip into hell with his new series Dark Ark. This is a biblical story of a different type, basically when God asks Noah to build the ark and care for all of his special creatures of the earth before he floods it and kills off most of mankind. The devil apparently also asks a specific sorcerer to take care of all of his demon minions as well as the fantastical beasts like unicorns and such that aren't specifically evil. Um, on a separate arc in exchange, the sorcerer can save his own family on the arc. And you know, instead of burning in hell for all eternity, the only condition is that he has to make sure that Noah's Ark also survives. So if Noah's Ark um, crashes, dies, and they lose all the animals and uh, Noah's family die, then the sorcerer's family will not succeed either and they can burn in hell for all eternity. So firstly, check out this art from Wando, who you would know from a uh, crap ton of fairly recent Marvel comics um, like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Wolverines, The Logan Legacy, Iron Fist, Legion of Monsters, Iron Man. I could go on, but I'll stop right there. I think you'll find uh, Wan's work either appeals to you or it doesn't. He's certainly fantastic at being moody and these angular faces have always been a sort of Marvel, Marvel staple, especially if you go back to some of the new mutants from like the early early 90s for instance, but I find one uh, can really make you feel as though you're watching an animation. Uh, there's something in his panels that kind of tricks my brain, I swear to god. Um, as far as the story goes, I really think this is a super cool concept, but I can't think of a single story told like this, and I feel like it's an obvious story, someone must have told it but I can't for the life of me think of one. Colin Bunn, of course, being a great storyteller in the realm of the supernatural, it's totally no surprise that he would come up with something like this, and I love that about him. I love his Deadpool stories, I love Harrow County and Empty Man, which is some new old now, I guess a few years old, uh, but another great concept, um, that one was from Boom Studios, although tip here, binge read Empty Man, otherwise it'll drive you insane, I really hated one waiting month to month for that one, um, it's best binge read um, with amazing art um, all the way through. So. Dark Ark is awesome, not to be missed, especially if you like Colin Bunn's previous work. Um, but this is really a new caliber of story for him, I think, even though it falls in the same particular vein of that sort of paranormal um, kind of fantasy sort of thing. A little bit of the horror, not too gruesome, definitely not in this issue, but I suspect we'll see some blood and guts to come. And so my comic book junkies, that concludes a very quick little review from me. Unfortunately, I'll be very tied up uh, with the family stuff for the next few days. I'm going to be greeting hopefully my new nephew today as he comes into the world, but we're not sure. These things take a lot of time and we've already been waiting quite a long time. So I may not get back to you for a little while. We'll see what happens. There's also a local Halcon happening this weekend, um, which I hope I don't miss, but I might have to just because of what's going on family-wise. And until next time, guys, read something good. Bye.